Well, hello again everyone and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. As you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, this is actually my backyard. Uh, I live in Florida on the west coast. It's partly cloudy and it actually hit 80 degrees today. Uh, so I th thought I'd you know, start working on a little side project that uh, I promised my wife for a Christmas present. Um, she wanted me to basically redo the Blessed, Very Merge, uh, Blessed Virgin Mary, um, <clears throat> who's part of a garden statue project. Uh, since she knows I paint models, she thought that uh, it's something I could uh, do for her. So uh, basically that's what I've been doing, like I said, on a side, side project in between my model building. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you know, the Blessed Virgin Mary was uh, in disarray from being outdoors for so many years that uh, it's the, the paint and everything started peeling away from it. So we initially started with washing her down, scrubbing her down uh, with some soap and water and a wire brush uh, to remove all the loose uh, flakes and paints, flakes. Uh, from the statue itself. Once everything was clean and dry, uh, we started performing a base coat, which basically I uh, used some Kills primer, and we put two coats of that to do the entire statue itself. And then once that was dry, we went ahead and uh, started putting some base coats on. Uh, now for her clothing, uh, most of her clothing basically is uh, two-tone. Uh, we used uh, used some uh, white uh, semi-gloss enamel, and then we also had some semi-gloss enamel that was custom made for the uh, slight tint of uh, blue, I guess you would want to call it. Um, <clears throat> kind of get a little bit closer here to her face, and uh, you can see I went ahead and I started using some of my acrylic paints. I custom blended the flesh tone for her uh, so there's a couple coats of that on her on her face and as you can see on her hands and her one foot over here so uh, with that being done uh, we went ahead and started doing some detailing work uh, the actual uh, I guess you want to say uh, lack of a better term the collar around her neck piece um, that is actually the copper Tamiya uh, XX, XF6 that I used and with the other uh, ornament uh, that's in the centerpiece of her neckline there uh, I actually used a Sharpie uh, metallic bronze uh, marker and kind of colored that in and uh, as we kind of go down here we uh, basically uh, for the globe that she is standing on with her one foot uh, uh, on top of the serpent. Uh, let me see if I can kind of turn this around a little bit so get a little better light. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I basically went with my dark blue Craft Smart satin acrylic paint. Uh, gave that two coats. And then for the stars, uh, I tried something a little bit different. I used the gold Craft Smart glitter paint to make the stars shine a little bit. And then for the actual uh, serpent itself, I went with the Folk Art Hunter Green, which is number 406 in the Folk Art series. And then uh, basically for the lower part of her base, the black, uh, I used the Krylon uh, Shortcuts uh, spray can. And uh, like I said, I just uh, kind of sprayed around the lower Base for that to kind of break up the color a little bit. So uh, <clears throat> basically, I just wanted to kind of share with you my little side project here, and and uh, we're kind of finishing up on the uh, details and whatnot. And then I'll go ahead and and uh, put a clear coat over it so that uh, it lasts for a few more years uh, out in the uh, garden area. So uh, with that being said. I uh, hope everybody has a good day, and we will catch you on the next uh, model build. So, uh, thanks for watching, and then uh, we'll catch you on the uh, next segment. Bye.